Hi friends, it's Miss Jen and Miss Kristen behind the camera at the library. And today we're going to start a brand new segment at the Nanuet Library called Unboxing New Books. We have a lot of brand new books that we ordered during quarantine and we want to share them with you. So today I'm going to open the box and tell you, show you all of them and tell you about a few. This first one I've been wanting to read for a while. It's called Five Things About Ava Andrews by Margaret Dilloway. And on the outside, she's very social and happy, but inside she's very, very nervous. It ends up she has anxiety and a heart condition, and she has to find a way to really break out of her shell. She only has one best friend, and everybody else thinks she's just super shy. And so she ends up um, writing because her writing abilities are really great. Her classmates are impressed, and then she's learning how to really use her voice. I thought if you're anxious or if you have other things going on, this would be a great book for you, especially if you're trying to branch out into a new part of your life. So that's that one. If we have Sal and Gabby, Fix the Universe by Rick Reardon, and, or He Presents, it's by Carlos Hernandez. And the first one was Sal and Gabby Break the Universe. So this is part two. And we have The First Rule of Punk by Celia Perez. I love this. It says, always, always remember the first rule of punk. Be yourself. So what if you're a total weirdo? We're all weird in some way, right? Right. I mean, who doesn't want to be weird and be themselves? Love this. And now let's move on to some graphic novels. So we have Take It Away Tommy. Looks like a just cats. Cats, Fox and Rabbit, and Once Upon a Space Time. Oh, this is by the best-selling author of the Jedi Academy. So if you love that series, you'll probably love this one. Next up, picture books. So I don't really like dogs but I really wish that I had a dachshund. And this really caught my attention because look how cute he is. So up on Bob, words and pictures by Mary Sullivan. Poor Bob, he just wants to take a little nap and then Cat comes along and just causes a ruckus. So if you want to find out what happens to his nap time, tune in. Check it out, don't you worry. Next up, we have my cat looks like my dad, which he actually does, which is kind of hilarious. They do say that sometimes people look like their pets. A Family for Louie by Alexandra Thompson. He is a dog who loves to go to restaurants and try all new foods, but he doesn't have a family. So it says life is sweeter when shared with friends, which we know is true. And our last picture book in here is called Lift by Dan Santa, Santa, sorry. And this looks great. And he's a great, oh no, it's illustrated by him, by Ming Lee. So look at this. If you love these illustrations, just really. And it's also written in graphic novel form. So it's a picture book, graphic novel. Next up is our newest biography. You guys, I love Malala. She's one of my favorite, favorite humans. And I consider her a role model, even though I'm a lot older than her. And this is Malala Yousafzai um, by Lisa Williamson, illustrated by Mike Smith. It's a new series that we're getting called First Names. So it's all about Malala and everything that she's done. And I love it because it has all the facts, but it has graphics in there too. So this is just really great. I'm probably gonna have to buy this for myself. And then we have Becoming a Leader Like Michelle Obama. Unbeatable Betty, Betty Robinson, the first female Olympic track and field gold medalist, written by Allison Kratzer Himmel. And finally, Fox. Henry Brown Mails Himself to Freedom by Carol Boston Weatherford, who is like one of my favorite authors ever, and illustrated by Michelle Wood. 
And I don't know if you guys have ever read Henry's Freedom Box, but this is about the same guy, Henry Brown, and how he mailed himself from slavery to freedom to Boston, where he becomes free. So this is a great, great story. And, well, it's not, it's historical fiction. It's real. It really happened. And so if you want to know more about him, I definitely suggest you check this out. Okay? That's all we have in the box today, guys. Tune in next Monday for another segment of Unpacking the Box.